back in the kitchen. Right. Today we are going to build from 25 mil conduit, which is what this stuff is, white plastic conduit. We're going to build a wire wound magnetic loop. Okay, so what you need, if you haven't got one of these, okay, that's a, a four-way conduit connector or uh, whatever you want to call it, 25mm to fit the pipe. Um, if you haven't got one of those, you need two lengths of 25mm conduit at 180 centimetres or 1,800 millimetres or 1.8 metres or, what is it? Um, 71 inches long, right? Two of them at 71 inches, because you're going to make a cross. Anyway, I'm not going down that route, because uh, I've got that bit. I need four at 86 and a half centimetres, or 34 inches or 865 millimetres and what we need to do is we put them in like so okay and then the overall length for that will be 180 right and we'll do exactly the same going this way and that way I'm going to, before I glue them in, I need to mark them out and drill the hose for the wire to go around them. Anyway, let me show you a picture of what I'm going to do. Let me show you the basic uh, idea on plan here. So we have, I don't know if I can see that. So we have our pole and uh, towards the top of it we have our cross section. Now we've used a junction box uh, on mine. Uh, the idea there makes it a lot easier. Now these measure 90 centimetres uh, from the centre point, okay, each. And again, 90 centimetres to the ends. And this pole is a lot longer, as you can see. I've actually used um, a 1 metre 20 uh, pole, um, but we need to measure down it 90 centimetres again. And mark that. Because we then need to mark at 1 centimetre in from each of the poles our first hole to drill through, and the six centimetres from that, another hole, and then six centimetres from that, another hole, and, then six, and so on and so forth, until we have five holes. Okay, and then what we do then is we all take a piece of wire from, from our lowest hole here, to our outer hole, and then up to our outer hole, and then to our outer hole, and then into our next hole in, and so on and so on to make a spiral yep getting this bump and then finally to here and this one will be be uh, through the hole and then the wire will be dropped down and the wire here will be dropped here as well and that's where we fit our capacitor as a variable capacitor Okay, now in this section, we need to put in a another loop, which will be suspended, uh, in this case, five centimetres from the last wire we've put in. And this will be connected up to some coax. Uh, and this is our coupling loop to go into our spiral. Well, at least that's the idea. Anyway, should we make it and see if it works? So I've marked the, uh, the pipe. 
So I've marked the pipe at one centimeters, seven centimeters, 13 centimeters, 19 centimeters, 25 centimeters and 27 centimeters for three of them. Um, so that's the one centimeter and then six centimeter spacing between each. So the last one, and that's a two centimeter spacing for that one. Uh, I've done that on three of the pipes. Okay, and the reason why the three of the pipes, uh, this is where the, the loop is going to be, um, the feed loop, if you want to call it, the, uh, the Faraday loop is going to be suspended uh, on the, the last ones. Uh, and on the last pole, which is the, the vertical upright one, if you like, like this, um, it's uh, again, six centimeter spacing. So again, one, seven, 13, 19, 25. And then this one, because we need a four centimeter space is 29. Okay, now I'm gonna drill them now to make the, uh, the drill hose for the wire. Then I shall then glue uh, and place them on my center axle um, and then we'll move on from there. So let's do some drilling. Okay, all marked up. I've made one alteration already. Instead of having a, a short pole for the bottom vertical, I decided to have a longer length so that I can use it as part of the stand. Um, yeah, there we go, anyway. Ready to assemble. Well, drill and assemble. Okay, so there's a quick tip. Okay, I have marked the depth in which I have to put the, uh, the, the rod in. I suppose I better glue it now. This is solvent glue all over my worktop. Okay, so we've made our uh, frame. As you can see, it's relatively large. Uh, it's, uh, what is it, 290s, which is 1.8. So it's 1.8 meters tall uh, by uh, 1.8 meters, and then an additional um, 50 centimeters on the end of that uh, to allow for uh, the stand um, part. So the next job is to thread our cable or wire through the hose and, and make the the outer um, wire loop uh, and as you can see I've added a, a center piece a blanking cap um, over the center axle hopefully I can use this small little um, screw hole here um, for the strip connector to connect to the uh, to the pole. Anyway, you'll see all that a bit later. Let's right. Let's do some uh, wire threading.
done the first um, turn of the knot, as you can see, with about uh, 30 centimeters of uh, spare wire. Uh, and then that goes round four times. Uh, I'm yet to, uh, uh, to finish it. I think there's gonna be a total of five turns, uh, but just to give you some idea what it looks like so far. Here we go, okay, okay, finished. Um, well, the outside loop is finished. Uh, five turns, um, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four, five. So that's where you look at it. Um, in the middle here, uh, from the top of the uh, inside part of the uh, loop and the outside part of the loop will be joined together using a 25 was well, 10 to 30 ish variable capacitor uh, which i shall build and that will be in the next video um and uh, at this point uh here will be a coupling loop um in the top part of the triangle but that will also be in the next video so thanks very much for watching. Um, as you can see, our wire loop is uh, looking good. It's uh, 180 centimeters in diameter. Uh, I tell you what, this this uh, let's make the ends nice and neat. It's what 3D printers are for, isn't it? Look at this. Wonderful. I'll glue that in place. Okay, so we've got our loop and uh, we've got nice little ends on the end and uh, nicely, neatly done. I'll uh, work out how much wire has been used. But this is for the 80 meter band. We've got our loop. And the next thing we need to do is create our coupling loop. So, uh, right, let's, uh, let's get on.